Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again and uh, we've just received a tyre and I've just received a tyre for review from MRF and a uh, oh, lot of traffic here, you need to be careful so it's the Masseter tyre that's been launched recently MRF claim it to be kind of a revelation or revolution and uh, they've added a lot of technology like laps there is uh, maybe a lean angle performance system and a whole lot of features we'll be talking about that and looking into that in this review so I couldn't make it to the Kari uh, Motor Speedway because of my ill health but uh, I'm grateful to my, uh, MRF that they've been they've sent the tire all the way to me for the review and just one uh, piece of advice if or a small tutorial to begin with if you have a tough time carrying a tire all by yourself this is how you do it so seems to be pretty effective and we're gonna you know put this tire uh, the Masseter 140 section tyre on this bike, the RTR 200 and put it to test and let's see how it turns out. For those who aren't aware, MRF stands for Madras Rubber Factory Limited. It's the largest manufacturer of tyres here in India and is based in Chennai. Now MRF has been a name that we all can easily relate to with the man, the machine and the tyre ad we all grew up watching. I still recall my childhood days when I used to watch my all time favourite mini series called the Street Hawk which was sponsored by MRF tyres. They've been offering world class tyres all along incorporating all the latest technologies and the very fact that premium brands like KTM, Yamaha and even Harley Davidson have chosen to invest their trust in MRF speaks of how far they have come in achieving world standards. MRF has won various awards and accolades all along winning the JD Power Award for a record 11 times by 2014. It has also won the highest export awards in the auto tyre sector given out by All India Rubber Industries. Now talking about their racing and rally legacy, the MRF rally team has 8 Asia Pacific rally championships to their credit which is astounding and speaks of their sheer dominance at the Asia Pacific rally segment. Now I personally have used MRF zapper tires on the majority of the motorcycles that I have owned so far. They have been pretty good except for on uneven road surfaces especially when a new road has been laid upon another where the rear tire used to wobble slightly. Maybe that was because of the tread pattern it carried but, but apart from that they served me really well on my Pulsar 180 UG3 which I had owned for nearly 6 years. Now currently with me owning the Duke 200 which has the Rev Z new tread pattern tires that were updated for the 2016 Duke 200, I feel the grip levels and performance to have vastly improved compared to the Zappers. Last year I got an invite to attend the MRF Masseter tire launch event at the Kari Motor Speedway which I unfortunately couldn't make it to due to my ill health. However, I'm grateful to MRF for sending the tire all the way to my place to review it for them. Now this tire is a 140 by 70 rare tire and I had it fitted to the TVS Apache RTR 200 which is an amazing motorcycle. And I'm thankful to my biker brother Shaker for lending me his RTR 200 such that I can put to test this tire. Now Shaker also runs a YouTube channel called the HYD Biker so please feel free to check that out. Now without further ado let's dive straight into the review and find out what the new Masseter tires have on offer. First of all MRF claimed the new Masseter tires to have been developed on the racetrack and that they've been built to excel in track conditions. Now with the biking culture going full steam ahead here in our nation I think this is the right kind of tire an average bike enthusiast will be looking for. You can ride it on the streets, take it to the tracks during track track day events and also enjoy your long weekend rides with your bike running these tires. The first and most important feature of this new tire is called LAPS or LAPS which stands for Lean Angle Performance System. Now this offers better cornering capabilities by offering maximum traction to push your bike to its limits and increase your lean angle and cut through corners sharply thereby ultimately resulting in faster lap times. The advanced lean angle comes courtesy of a rounded profile that optimizes road contact, enhances rider control and thereby results in better cornering performance. The softer compound offers perfect braking balance thereby enhancing the overall braking performance. I did put to test as to how effectively these tyres help improve the overall braking performance of the bike. You can see here that the bike comes to a standstill from 50 km per hour within just 3.8 seconds and mind you I didn't even go very hard on the brakes. I can still bring this number down further. So overall I do think that the tyre offers good braking performance. Also the wider contact patch of the tyre provides better confidence to the rider while having to tackle back to back corners. 
Finally, the masseter also promises to provide superior grip on wet surfaces. The contoured grooves on the tire provide for better water channeling capabilities. Unfortunately, I couldn't really put to test its wet surface performance, but going by my experience of this tire of riding through the city streets and taking on sharper corners, I'm hoping this will perform well on wet surfaces too. Now if you are wondering whether you can fit these tires on your bike, here is the chart with all the motorcycle models clearly listed out for which masseter tires are now made available in the market. Now looking at the price again, I believe MRF have absolutely nailed it by offering these superior quality tires at very affordable prices. The price ranges from Rs 3500 to Rs 5000 rupees for a set depending on the motorcycle you choose to put them on. So overall, I think the new masseter from MRF is a really impressive option worth considering if you are planning to swap the tires on your bike. The masseter tires are affordable, they help you try sharper lean angles, they offer better braking performance, perfect balance and finally superior grip on wet surfaces, thereby making this a well-rounded package considering the requirements you might have on your mind given the current day biking scenario here in our nation. Well that's pretty much it for now, I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao, take care, God bless and ride safe.